How do you clean 135 years worth of oil, grease, dirt, and grime that has soaked in to an old gun stock without refinishing it, or stripping it, refinishing it, staining it, etc.? Hey guys, this is Josh, and you are watching Gun Times. This is the third video in the series. The Whitney Kennedy Project, we are going to clean up 135 years of grime on an old gun stock. Now, there are several ways to do it. A lot of guys just strip everything down to the bare wood, you know, removing the old finish, removing the old grease and grime. And to me, that is a cardinal sin. To refinish an old rifle. Now that being said I have done that before uh, just to give you guys an example um, here is a Mosin Nagant that I bought for roughly a hundred bucks and this thing was a mess so I did I stripped the stock down and completely refinished it but there again that's a hundred dollar rifle I would not do that on something as rare as this Whitney Kennedy rifle. So what I'm going to do is a process I like to use on old guns without completely refinishing them. So to do that, what you'll need, rubber gloves, some Scott towels, soft bristle brush, um, some white cotton rags, and all this stuff you can get at your local hardware store. Some low odor mineral spirits and 4 out steel wool, which you can get at any local hardware store as well. And then a brush. So that being said, guys, we are going to just dig in and start cleaning. Okay, so first things first, we're going to want to take our mineral spirits, a white cotton rag, and we want to just get the, the rag wet. Now guys, you want to make sure whenever you're using mineral spirits to have uh, good ventilation. <laughs> you don't want to fumigate yourself. That is not what this is all about. So, okay. So then you just want to uh, wet the wood and again we're not we're not uh, soaking we're not soaking the wood we are just uh, getting the surface wet and just keep rubbing it boy that stuff sure does stink <laughs> Oof -da. and again you want to keep it wet Keep the surface wet. And you can see we're already starting to get some icky, icky stuff off of there. All right, just gonna get, get some more mineral spirits here. All right, and we're just gonna keep right on a going here. Get this grease and grime and icky crap on there or off of there. Again, just keep it wet. Keep your keep your surface wet there. And again, you're not trying to let it soak in. Just keep the surface wet. Keep scrubbing. You know, you see all the black stuff. Now that black stuff, that is old. Uh, gun oil, gun grease, which has soaked in to the wood. Now, as the years go by, what happens, guys, is your oil-based finishes, they oxidize as the years go on, and that's how they turn really dark. And then as the black, what turns it black is all of the... Um, the gun oil and grease and stuff like that, that they use so just keep getting it wet keep scrubbing it can be kind of tedious 
And then to, if you get some stubborn areas, just, uh, just wet it down, wet it down with the mineral spirits and then take your soft bristle brush and then just, just brush. You want to brush with the grain. Don't go brushing against the grain guys. It's kind of counterproductive. So again, we're just trying to get all of this old icky crap off of here. And again, for this, we're using uh, mineral spirits because that works as a degreaser. And just keep scrubbing your gun stock. You know, and you might have to use, you know, several, go over it several times. Just keep going, guys. Be patient. You will start to notice results. The more you scrub, the more you'll get. And again, so we're not taking off old finish. We're just trying to get the dirt and the grease and all of that off. Whew, duh, that stuff really does stink. <laughs> all right, so as you can see, the up here is where all the oil and grease are, which has turned that stock almost black. So what I'm gonna do here, a little four aught steel wool. I'm gonna just wet this down here with mineral spirits. And then I am going to just scrub those black spots. Not too hard though, guys. Again, you don't want to strip the finish off of there. You're just trying to get some of that black icky crap off of there. That's all we're trying to do here. Oofta. I don't know if you guys can see, but we are starting, slowly, slowly starting to see some of this, some of the wood grain come out instead of it just being black, which is exactly what you want to see. But not too hard, guys. You don't want to wreck your stock, okay? And let's keep right on. Poof -da. Yeah, we're getting, we're definitely getting into the grease now on this thing. All right. And just wipe it off here. And you can see we're starting to, starting to lighten it up here a little bit, guys which is what we're, what we want to see. And then I'm just going to take a Scott towel. And again, you don't want to leave, you don't want to leave the mineral spirits sit on your wood. Uh, so whenever you walk away from it a bit or anything like that, guys, um, just, just dry it off. Just wipe it off with a Scott towel and uh, don't let it soak into the wood. I mean, if there's a little bit on there, it will evaporate eventually. But as you can see, we're starting to see some results, guys. Hang tight. Okay, guys, now that the stocks are completely dry, as you can see here, now what I do is I take a piece of 4 aught steel wool, just dry, and I just lightly want to uh, go over the surface and make sure that there aren't any burrs, anything like that sticking up. Just lightly go over it. You know, don't don't hit it so hard that you're you're digging into the original finish. And look at that piece of wood. That's really starting to come out. You know, we're not we're not taking out any dings, dents or anything like that. We don't want to take all the history away from this rifle. And I just go over it once with the with the four aught steel wool, and then I take a clean cotton rag 
and then just wipe down the whole thing. Again, now that it is completely dry, you can really start to see what your work has done. I mean, yeah, it's still a little bit dark, but you know, we did get a lot of that stuff out of there. Short of taking a heat gun to it or acetone, which would completely take away all of the original finish, uh, which we are we are not going to do. Um, we're going to move on to the next step and seal it back up. Okay, guys. So for the next step to seal the wood back up, I'm taking just boiled linseed oil, and I learned this trick from Larry Potterfield from Midway USA. You want to you want to coat all the the entire exterior here liberally with the boiled linseed oil and let it soak for about 15 minutes. And you will really start to see that old wood come back to life. So just coat the entire all the surfaces with the boiled linseed oil. And you don't need to worry about getting your fingerprints on there at this point or anything like that. Again, you're just getting it, you're just soaking it. And then set it aside and let it dry for 15 minutes. Okay guys, so the final step in our stock cleanup here, we are going to, or I let the boiled linseed oil dry for a couple of days and it's pretty dry. So then what I do is I put Birchwood Casey stock sheen and conditioner on it. Now, other than that, I mean, some guys, they like to use true oil and stuff like that. To me, that just wrecks an old stock. So your rubber gloves, some stock sheen and conditioner, a clean cotton cloth, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna rub the entire stock down with stock sheet and conditioner. Put a little bit on there. There we go. And then just rub it in. And then rub it in, and then you keep going until the entire stock. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man. This the stock seems to soak up a lot, believe me. Alright. Let's rub it in. Okay, just keep going. Make sure you coat the entire thing. Yeah, okay, here. And careful not to snag on any of the edges or anything like that because you don't want to chip or rip any pieces of your stock off. And just rub it in the entire surface of the wood. Just work right on around. You know what? That that cloth <coughs> doesn't seem to be working so well, so I'm going to switch to a blue Scott towel here. And just keep right on a going. Just rub it in, make sure you're getting it in all the different areas there, both sides. <coughs> and feel free to apply it liberally, guys. You know me, I just, I put a little on, dab a little on there, here and there, and just keep rubbing it in. Oh, am I on camera there, guys? Yeah, okay. You know, so what this does, this leaves a nice satin finish to it. You know, it doesn't leave it like so shiny and stuff that, which to me, that just wrecks an old gun. That's not what we're trying to do here, guys. All right, let's 
keep rubbing it in. Oops, sorry if I got off camera there, guys. Alright, let's keep going right around. And then make sure you don't forget up here. And you want to get all exposed areas of your stock, guys. Get around the there. Okay. We got it in there. Good. Okay. And then I'm just going to keep working right around here. And then make sure and repeat the same process on the foreguard as well. Oop, I might have <laughs> I might have gotten a little bit much there. That's okay though. It'll it'll rub in. We're okay with that. We can always we can always wipe off the excess, guys. And again, we're not refinishing, we're not restaining, nothing like that. We are just clean. We clean the wood and then we sealed it back up with um, some boiled linseed oil. <clears throat> All right, I didn't get any up here, I don't think. All right. And for me, like I said, on an old gun, I don't want um, I don't want a shiny, shiny, high gloss, you know, look to it. That's not what I'm trying to do here, guys. And then you'll notice it kind of looks a little bit cloudy, but that'll go away as we keep going here, guys. It'll polish up nicely. And leave a nice matte finish on everything. So just keep rubbing it right into the wood until you get again you get all exposed all the exposed wood there that's what you want to do. Pour a little bit on a rag. Again I hope I have enough to do this. I hope I'm not running out. I still have the four stock to do. And again, just make sure you get the whole stock. You don't want to you don't want to miss any areas. You don't want an ugly, you know, half finish, <laughs> half knot on your stock. You want it to be uniform. Okay, now let's get that bottom. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more stock sheen and conditioner here. And I'm being careful along the bottom edge there. Again, I don't, don't want to catch it on anything. I mean, as you can see, there's a chip out of the bottom there, but that was like that when I got it. Interestingly enough, guys, and I don't know if the camera will really pick this up, but the serial number is also stamped into the wood as well, which is kind of cool. So the same as the rest of the gun parts have the serial number stamped on it, so does the stock. So that is kind of neat. All right, well... I think with that, I think we got everything coated. We're going to just let that dry a little bit and then we are going to come back. We're going to come back and buff this bad boy clean. But first, we're going to get the four, the four stock there. But you guys already get the idea, the idea. We'll be right back to finish polishing it up. Okay, guys. So the last step is you want to buff the stock sheen and conditioner. I mean, it, if you feel it right now, it feels kind of grainy. That's okay. So we are just going to 
buff this up a little bit and let's see how it looks when it's done. All right, well look at that. It's getting a nice satin, nice satin sheen to it, which is what you want. And again, just a clean cotton cloth <coughs> will do the trick. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. All right. And that is, that is coming out just, just beautiful. Look at that. You know, not too much of a shine to it. You, again, you don't want a high, high gloss finish on an old gun. At least I don't. In my mind, again, that just wrecks them. But, you know, of course, everybody has their own opinion. This just happens to be mine. So, all right, so we are... Just, just buffing it with the white cotton rag. And again, keep the rag dry, don't wet it with anything. That's not what you want to do. Just keep it dry. Okay, so there's that side versus that side. So we still have to buff this side out. But look at that side. That's really turning out nice. Alright, now we're just going to buff the other side here. Look at that, it's starting to shine up a little bit, but again, we're not not going overboard with it. We want a nice satin finish. We don't want bright, bright and shiny. That's not what we're all about here. But look at that. That is one nice looking wood stock, old wood stock. And again, we didn't refinish it. We didn't restain it. We simply cleaned it. That is all we are going to do to this. Make sure you get all the exposed parts. You know, wherever you put that stock sheen and conditioner on it, make sure and just buff it up nice. Okay. You know, just keep right on going. Any exposed pieces. Just keep, oh, sorry, get back on camera there. Just keep hitting it up with your cotton rag. Look at that. That is really coming out nice, guys. I am impressed. I wasn't expecting it to be this nice. But it's a good surprise. It really is. All right. Well, you guys get the idea how that works. Okay. And then just move right on to your front piece. There we go, guys. So this is the end result. You have an old gun stock that has been cleaned of 135 years of grime, dirt, grease. We didn't uh, remove all the history from it or anything like that. Um, we didn't refinish it and then we sealed it back up with uh, boiled linseed oil and then we just rubbed it down with Birchwood Casey stock sheen and conditioner. That's it for the stock part of it guys. Stay tuned, we'll do um, a reassembly video and We'll show our uh, show our final results. Thanks for watching, guys.